Hey, this lesson, uh, we're going to talk about how to classify quadrilaterals. All right, now, quadrilaterals are uh, any, any shape that has four sides, any polygon uh, that has four sides, right? And there's a bunch of them. All right, the first one here uh, is what we call a parallelogram. Okay, a parallelogram is a quadrilateral that has opposite sides parallel, all right? So these two sides are opposite, those are parallel, and then these ones over here are parallel. Okay. Next we have a rectangle. Now a rectangle is a parallelogram with four right angles. So I know opposite sides are parallel, and there's four right angles. Next we have a rhombus. A rhombus is a parallelogram with four congruent sides. So again, it is a parallelogram, but it has an additional characteristic where all four sides are the same length. So these are all tick marked the same length. And finally, in the family of parallelograms, we have a square. A square is also a parallelogram. So I know opposite sides are parallel. There's also four congruent sides and four right angles. Okay. Next we have a kite. A kite is a quadrilateral, four sides, with two pairs of adjacent sides congruent and no opposite sides congruent. All right, so these two sides are adjacent. Those are going to be congruent to each other. And these longer ones down here are going to be congruent to each other as well. That's a kite. Notice none of the sides are parallel. So zero parallel sides. And I'll remember that too. Okay, next we have uh, a trapezoid. A trapezoid is a quadrilateral with exactly one pair of parallel sides. So these two sides are our parallel sides. Okay, those are called the bases, by the way. And you can see the other two sides are not parallel. All right. So again, one pair of parallel sides. And going a little deeper into uh, trapezoids, an isosceles trapezoid is where the non-parallel sides are congruent. So in this case, that side would be congruent to this side. That makes it an isosceles trapezoid. Okay, so <clears throat> here's a shape here. We're going to classify this as, as many ways possible, all right? All right, we know it's a quadrilateral. Might as well write that down. So that's one way we can classify it. It is a quadrilateral. Okay. Um, let's see. It looks like opposite sides are parallel. So that means it's a parallelogram. And these angles are 90 degrees. So a parallelogram with four right angles is a rectangle. So as you can see, you can classify quadrilaterals a bunch of different ways. If it says as many ways possible, we want to list as many, as many ways as possible we can name this and classify this particular quadrilateral. Okay, next we're going to determine the most precise name and this is LMPN. Okay, so on this graph, <coughs> we need to uh, we need to do some proving here. We need to verify. I know first of all this is a quadrilateral. It has four sides, but I want to figure out, you know, is it a parallelogram? Is it a rectangle? Is it a square? Uh, what kind of parallelogram is this? Okay. All right. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to try to prove that the sides are parallel, okay? 
So our any side is parallel. Now, to do that, we're going to calculate the slope, okay? If the slopes are equal, then that means that they're parallel, okay? So let's try that first, all right? So let's do the slope of LM. That's this segment. I'm going to do rise and run. Rise will be 1, so up 1, right 2. That means the slope would be 1 over 2. All right. The next one we're going to do, let's do MP. Okay, that slope would be down 1, right 2. So down 1 would be negative 1, and right 2 would be positive 2. All right, let's look at NP. That's this segment right here. Again, the slope would be rise over run, so that's up 1, right 2. It's 1 over 2. And then LN, slope would be up 1, left 2. Up 1, left 2. Now, it looks like LM and NP, those have the same slope. Okay, so they're parallel. So I know these two sides are parallel. Okay? And MP and LN have the same slope, negative half. So I know they are equal. Alright? Which means they're parallel to each other. So far, what we have is a parallelogram. <clears throat> now remember, there's a bunch of different parallelograms. We're going to see if it's a rectangle or not. Okay? So the next thing we're going to check is we're going to check right angles. Okay? We're going to see if they're right, uh, if they're right angles. Now, if they're right angles, uh, the two lines involved, their slopes are opposite reciprocals. Okay? And what that means is, here's an example, if I have a slope of two-thirds, and their opposite reciprocal of that would be negative, and then we flip-flop the numbers to three halves. That's an example of opposite reciprocals. All right, looking at LM and MP, those slopes are opposites, but they're not upside down. They're not flipped, so they're not opposite reciprocals. So none of these have an opposite reciprocal relationship. So no right angles. That means it cannot be, uh, it can't be a rectangle. It can't be a square. Okay, finally, the last thing we want to do is figure out the side lengths. Okay? Now, I do the side lengths. All right, I can't count diagonally on a graph, so what I'm going to have to use, I'm going to have to use the distance formula. And that's x minus x squared plus y minus y squared. All right, so let's write down these points here. L has a point 1, 2. M has coordinates 3, 3. P has coordinates 5, 2. And N has coordinates 3, 1. So we're going to test out each side. So let's, let's start with LM. So I'm going to do my distance formula here. All right, so LM, I go 1 minus 3 squared plus 2 minus 3 squared. And when I calculate that out, let's see here. Okay, when I calculate that out, I get about 2.2, okay? All right, now I'm going to check the other sides here. All right, let's check uh, LN, for instance. LN... I do this one, it would be 1 minus 3 squared plus 2 minus 1 squared. And we're going to calculate that out. All right, when we calculate this, we get 2.2 again. Now I'm going to just save some time here, okay? LM is the same length as NP. They have the same slope, same distance, same thing with these other ones. So and they're all 2.2. So all of these sides are congruent. 
that means a parallelogram with four equal sides would be a rhombus. Okay, the next example involves a little bit of algebra. So the next thing we're going to do here, uh, we're going to find the valuables, or I'm sorry, the values of the variables for the kite. All right, now a kite, I know, has adjacent sides equal. So those two sides are equal to each other, and these sides are equal. All right, so I'm going to set up an equation, a couple of equations. These two sides are equal, so one equation would be 2y plus 5 equals x plus 6, and the other two over here, 2x plus 4 equals 3x minus 5. Now, this one has two different variables. I cannot solve that yet. If I go over here and solve this equation, I can do so because they both have x's. So I'm going to subtract 2x from both sides. That gives me 4 equals x minus 5. And then add 5 to both sides. So the value of x would be 9. Now I'm going to take that 9, and I'm going to come over here, and I'm going to plug it in over into the other equation so we can solve for y. So that's 2y plus 5 equals, now x comes out, and 9 gets subbed into it. So let's do that math here. 9 plus 6 is 15. Now we're going to subtract 5 from both sides. 2y would equal 10. Divide by 2, and it looks like y would be 5. So that answers the question, y is 5 and x is 9 for that example. All right, to summarize, let's, uh, let's take a look here. All right, uh, number one says, uh, judging by appearance, classify the figure in as many ways possible. All right, how many sides does it have? Four. So it is a quadrilateral, okay? Um, <clears throat> looks like all the sides are the same length. And there's four right angles, which means it's a square. Now, a square is a parallelogram. Okay, a parallelogram with four right angles is a rectangle. And a parallelogram with four equal sides is also a rhombus. So this shape has all of these names. The most specific is the square, but it wants me to name it in as many ways possible, so that's what we did. Okay, next. Which statement is true? A says all rectangles are squares. All right. Remember, a rectangle does not have all four sides equal, so all rectangles are not squares, so I know A is no good. B says all parallelograms are rectangles. Well, that's not true, because if it doesn't have right angles, it can still be a parallelogram, but not a rectangle. So it's not B. C says all quadrilaterals are rectangles. Absolutely not. Looks like our answer is going to be D. All squares are rectangles. Yes, that is true. A square is a parallelogram with all four sides equal and four right angles. So the four right angles makes it a rectangle as well, all right? So squares are technically rectangles. All right, so let's look at the family now of quadrilaterals. There are three families. We have parallelograms. We have trapezoids. And we have the kite. Now, off of parallelograms, there are two families. We have rectangles. And then we have a rhombus. Okay? Now, both rectangles and rhombuses have squares in them. Okay? So that's the flow chart. So a square is everything above it. We can always work up the chart, but never down the chart. Let's move over to trapezoids. Okay, A trapezoid, it could also be an isosceles trapezoid. All right, and a kite, well, there's no other types of kites, 
Tropical Akitas in a family by itself. That, su that kind of summarizes quadrilaterals and how to classify those four-sided shapes.